Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a hacker rank problem, a raised left rotation. This is an easy level problem and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So we have a function here, rotate and it takes an A, which is an array and D and D is the amount of rotations. So we want to return a new array with a different value rotated by D steps. So for this one, we have an array here. So one array, one, two, three, four, five, and a D will be two. So everything gets shifted by two to the left. So this, since this is at index zero, it gets shifted two to the left. So it overlaps and then becomes index at four. And this two becomes here, three shifts to the zero index, four shifts to the first index and five gets shifted to the second index. So how we're gonna solve this is that first we're gonna create a new array called create shifted rotated array variable. And after that, we wanna loop through a array starting at this is the key for this problem. You're starting at index of D. And inside of this loop, we want to push, push the current index value to rotated array. And once we finish this loop, we want to make an, another loop to get the, the values the current index, the index is left of D. So we want to loop through a array again, and we starting at starting at zero until D. We won't do the entire length of the array, and inside of this we will push the current index value to rotated array. And once we get this done, we return array rotated. So let's solve this one. So first thing we create the variable that rotated as an empty array. Next, we loop through it for let i equals you starting off at d i is less than a dot length i plus plus and inside of this we do we push it rotated array dot push a index of i. And next we want to do is that we want to create the second loop. So for that i equals zero, i is less than d i plus plus. Sorry about that. So now we do rotated array dot push a index of i. And once we finish that, we want to return rotated array. Let's test it out. Nice, it passes all the test cases. So for this one, the time complexity will be O of N, since we're doing a loop through, and the space complexity will be O of N, since we're creating a new array proportional to how long A is. Thank you.